I what up Virgo welcome back to the channel it's your girl Jeannie and you already know what it is so let's just get into the energy let's see what's going on for you we're gonna be doing a quick Monday morning energy for you I'm gonna put this out early in the morning just to give you something you know until later on all right I appreciate anybody who shows me love at all I love you back all right let's get into the energy let's see what's going on for you Monday morning tea for the Virgos please <clears throat> Monday, Monday morning tea for the Virgos. What's the energy? You see the sun, okay, being out very early tomorrow. It says it's time to walk away from this tainted love. You deserve better. Mm. Monday morning energy. It says more focus on their looks because it gets them what they want. Monday morning energy for the Virgo. One more card. What's the tea Monday morning for Virgo? We have mistakes. You have no idea what, have no idea what they are doing, but sees nothing wrong with that. Okay. Let's get it. A time to party and celebrate here. So your party, your celebration can extend till Monday morning, Monday energy. I feel like you have not finished turning up okay it says a time to walk away from tainted love you deserve better so monday morning you could be you can hear some gossip about some type of tainted love a pisces could be significant some someone around you or you could be walking away from somebody who has tainted something put you in a third party there's cheating there's weird energy going on so you're walking away from something monday morning or you're hearing about someone walking away somebody's going to be exposing someone's secrets we have more focus on their looks okay let's just start they said start with that first energy all right uh why is it a time to walk away from tinks of love here for virgo monday morning something about black leather all leather suits something about a suit and tie okay uh that's our faux leather okay we have success assured with good plans and hard work okay so spirit is going to give you success if you walk away from someone or something if you have to walk away from someone or something know that you're going to be successful afterwards okay you deserve better this doesn't have to be a love situation it could be work something you're walking away from because you know you deserve better will be rewarded okay you'll get a reward for doing so all right empress energy was talks about abundance at the bottom of the deck it says someone you know is undependable and insincere hard work ahead somebody only shows up Somebody only shows up when you're doing good. Whoever this person is, you need to walk away from them. They're like a, a success moocher, okay? This person knows that you're going to be successful with good plans and hard work in the future. And they want to be a part of this. I feel like they're telling your secrets here, making it harder for you to develop spiritually. Yeah. What's this energy? We have the emperor and the empress. Oh shit. Okay. You could be definitely going finding a counterpart. We have the empress in the reverse now. You can definitely be finding a counterpart. There could be an empress in the reverse that's being forced to walk away from an emperor. Um, and somebody is going to be successful because they're walking away from someone. All right, what's the energy? It's the time to walk away. Tainted love. You deserve better. Something about slicking back the hair. I'm getting the movie Grease or Cry Baby. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Cry Baby, cry. We have the Nine of Cups. Nine, ten, nine Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Wands. Nine, nine, nine could be significant here. Okay. I'm not sure. The numerology um for 999 but i'm sure that's significant um somebody could be born on september 9th okay 999 um and then we have six so what about the divisibles of six and copper um so this is giving me the energy of
someone being fruitful, abundant, being in wish fulfillment, and then deciding with the Nine of Wands energy where to extend your energy and your resources to. And then somebody trying to extort your energy. So somebody knows that you're going to have some type of success, like I said, in the future or right now. This is what your plans are. You're working hard for it. And with this Nine of Cups energy, somebody could want to be single and enjoy wasting your time. They enjoy it because they feel like you feel if you put in some type of work that you're going to get something out of it and you're not. Somebody from your past could be showing back up. Whoever this is, is deceptive about their finances uh, and deceptive about being uh, trustworthy. This person likes to break from you. You need to set a boundary with this person. All right. You're not going to be able to manifest anything here. And if you stay dedicated to it, you will regret it. The Fool and the Tower and the Temperance and the Chariot. Somebody takes, when they see you doing good, they take action towards you to fuck up your balance, to end your forward movement, okay? To transform your happy times because you expect them to be loving. You expect something good to come from this person and they just leave you hanging, okay? You need to, if this person is doing this in order to block your good news and your good fortune, your intuition is telling you to close out this situation, okay? But you're worried about doing the right thing and courting someone? No, don't do the right thing. Don't court this person. Okay, Monday morning, there could be somebody who is hitting you up. They come in and out of your life only when you're doing good. They come in showing you love and then they take it away in order to uh, fuck with your emotional state, to try to fuck with your well-being energy because they know that good shit is going to happen for you and they're jealous so they fuck with you whoever this is is not dependable they're insincere this is going to be somebody that you work with somebody that you go to work with you need to develop have some type of enlightenment and awareness and play a different role okay start something new here because good news is coming for you and um whoever the stranger is this puts you in a delusion. Somebody's trying to get you to meet up with them, saying if they plan trips, but never it always falls through. Like this is somebody who's all talk, who wants you to just stay still, okay? To try to create a chain of events to happen in your life because they're thinking of you and your finances, okay? So this is the energy. Um, somebody is an asshole there's somebody in your energy whether that's a lover a friend someone you mingle with triangle work with they're trying to they're only in your energy to shower you with love and then take it away and ghost it and then make you feel a certain type of way all right it's like break her energy real weird i don't know why they're doing it um eight minutes we can ask why why is this person doing this to virgo why is this person doing this to Virgo? We have the Nine of Cups. It gives them satisfaction. They get pleasure out of it. Okay. Whenever you focus your energy on them, they get satisfaction. The Nine of Cups. The Four of Wands. What? Yeah, the queen of pentacles and the string card this person may want to date you what why is this person doing this to virgo we need a moon the three of pentacles in the reverse five of pentacles yeah, this person gets satisfaction out of coming towards you, okay? <clears throat> uh, all for it to be illuminated with the three of pentacles in the reverse that they don't fuck with you, okay? The three of pentacles in the reverse is 
not getting the recognition that you need, delays, and then the Five of Pentacles is being left out on the cold. Somebody could be hiding that they have money problems. The King of Wands could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries who's lying about their job or their finances in the past. Or they could have been working with some type of liar in the past here. Mm -hmm. What's being illuminated about this person? The Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles. What's the Seven of Swords for the King of Pentacles? The Tower. What's the Seven of Swords for the King of Pentacles? The Tower. The King of Swords. The Past Return. Hmm. What's the Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles? The Nine of Pentacles. All right. Uh, who's the King of Pentacles? The Two of Swords. The higher fat. Oh. What's the two of swords of the higher fat? The ten of cups to the king of cups. Your baby daddy, your baby mama. All right. Uh, what's the tower to the king of swords? Read the three of swords in the reverse. What's the tower to the king of swords? The queen of swords in the reverse. What's that? There could be somebody who you're dealing with who is connected to somebody else that you were dealing with. Um, they enjoy lying to you, playing with you, getting information for this person. Uh, somebody's spreading gossip. So they pretend like they're your friend, cause an illusion, like they want to be um, in mutual feelings with you or have mutual feelings with you. And then they report back to one of your exes and talk shit about you, gossip about you, tell all your secrets. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Monday morning, you're going to find out that somebody's a fucking rat. Okay. Um, what's going to happen to this person for doing this to Virgo? The devil. Okay. The Ace of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. The Magician in the Reverse. This, something is going to backfire. This person is going to be exposed. Some type of work that they're doing on you. Two of Swords is blocked. Okay, you're going to get justice for this. Yeah, some type of lie is going to be exposed about some type of friend here. Okay. Trying to confuse you. This is heavy gaslighting energy. Trying to gaslight you with with friendship. Nine of Wands to the Four of Wands. The Knight of Wands. The Eight of Cups to the Eight of Coins. Whatever this is. Uh... trying to keep your attention thinking that something is going to turn into a relationship or they support you in some type of way and then they abandon you what's the ace of coins to the nine of wands the ten of swords somebody could have been paid to do this to betray you the hang one the chariot yeah leave you hanging ghost you mm -hmm. all right why is there more focus on their looks here for Virgo because it gets them what they want. Oh, fuck, G. Damn. <laughs> yeah, affairs with your family. I can't make it up. Okay. You're gonna find out that these bitches are working with your familiars.
April or May. Somebody could be a tourist here. Okay, somebody's working with some a tourist in your family. Um, affairs with your family. Somebody is more focused on their looks because they get them what they want. Okay. So Monday morning, somebody's going to be focused on their looks. Why is someone focused on their looks? We have the sun card. Someone could be a Leo. Why is someone focused on their looks here? We have the five of pentacles. We have the nine of wands in the reverse. We have the king of swords energy. Somebody was left out in the cold because of their reckless behavior, because they weren't doing anything substantial. Now they're trying to problem solve. So this pe this person keeps getting abandoned because uh, they can't provide anything substantial, probably because they're broke. And to problem solve and think strategic, they work out, they focus on their looks. Uh, they try to be more sexy, sex sexual. We use the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Somebody could be a prostitute, the Four of Swords and the Eight of Cups. If you knew that, you would walk away from them. Or if somebody is being exposed from being a prostitute. What's, why is the... Uh, why is the affairs with the family here? We have the Page of Wands. You could have an Aries in your family here. Page of Wands to the Fool. And we have the Three of Swords energy. Okay. Somebody's getting some type of message. Somebody's going to take action to cause a loss, cause some type of heartbreak, pain. Okay. What's the message here with the Page of Wands? Okay. We have Justice and the Queen of Pentacles energy. All right. Okay, Monday morning, four of wands. What's the justice to the four uh, to the three of pentacles? We have the ace of pentacles and the eight of wands. What's that? We have the ten of swords. And we have the death card energy. Mm, we have the chariot. All right, there's somebody here who's getting heavy karma. This person here is taking financial karma for the reckless things that they did. They're problem solving by being a prostitute. Whoever this prostitute man is, uh, he, they got some type of good luck by taking action to cause you loss. They took an opportunity to take to do something, could have been with a fire sign to cause you some type of loss. You're getting justice for it, Virgo. You're about to get some type of payout, okay? Yeah, you're about to get a huge fucking payout for something. We have the Eight of Wands to the Ten of Swords to the Eight of, to the Death card energy. We have the Chariot. So this is communication. This is betrayal. This is a death an ending you could hear some type of communication about a real death what the fuck What's the Ten of Swords to the Death card here? We have arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. And we have spiritual love. What? What's the... Dealing a relationship with a man. Yeah, I know it's a poor broke ass man. Keep your life in balance. You need to defend yourself. Period of ill health and depression. Fair man. Mm. 
Preserve, you'll overcome the problem. Dealing with a younger woman. Mule, somebody's being stubborn. All right. So, uh, somebody sent me an email right at 3 a.m. Oh. Anyways. Um, so, there's a man out here. Okay. There's a man out here who was a very arrogant and boastful energy. Oh, this is the page of wands of fool. Okay, so somebody is dealing with one of your friends, okay, to hurt you. They may have got your friend to take an action and hurt you. You're going to get justice for this. There was some type of communication or somebody could have got paid, okay, to betray you and hurt you, okay, um, to cause you a period of ill health and depression with dealing with another man. Okay, and you think you're going to preserve with over a problem with this man and be with this man, and you're not. This is a setup, okay? And if you are a man, there's another man, okay, who's trying to get you to go through ill health and depression by setting you up with this bitch. Somebody's being paid to set you up here. Um, but um, you need to defend yourself against both these people. That's crazy. Yeah. I feel like there's someone here who will leave you out in the cold and then come in with some strategizing energy. Okay. They will uh take action towards you, send you a message, you feel me? Like they're having some type of new beginning and then it'll end. Okay. And with the justice to the Queen of Pentacles, this person's gonna, you're, you're gonna get karma for that. Okay. They're gonna get karma for that because this person may have taken this opportunity uh, to communicate with you just to have like some type of painful ending and end it with you. It's almost like somebody want to change this change the tables on you so if you left somebody out in the cold because they didn't give you nothing substantial now this person is coming back in hit hooking up with your family you feel me doing weird shit hooking up with your other enemies to try to cause you some type of loss or an l emotional damage okay mistake you have no idea what they are doing but they have no idea what they are doing, but they see nothing wrong with that, okay? So this person, whoever this is, is about to make a mistake. You are about to make a mistake. Somebody is about to make a mistake here. They have no idea what they are doing, um, but they see nothing wrong with this energy. What is this for Virgo? Okay, so there's someone who is wasting your time. They're in cahoots with someone else to waste your time. This could be another male or a female. They're all in cahoots to waste your motherfucking time. Um, they hooked up with your family because you abandoned them like everybody else. Okay, you rejected them. So now they want you to feel a certain type of way. This person may think that you think that y'all are going to have a relationship with each other. But I feel like that's crazy. Um, this person has no idea what they are doing. But they see nothing wrong with that or you have no idea what they are doing but see nothing wrong with they see nothing wrong with that i don't know how to word this y'all can read the wording it's worded weird okay have no idea what they are doing but see nothing wrong with that okay so loading energy what is this for virgo you could make a mistake make an error in front of everybody have no idea what you are doing um but don't even care but that's not virgo energy virgo don't like doing that so who is this we have love we have older men okay we have wedge we have someone who's trying to come in between you and a friend or something that you want we have love and then we have an older man weird energy here okay like i said there's somebody in cahoots with someone else in cahoots trying to come against your love life or fuck you up uh I heard I didn't sacrifice my club life. I didn't sacrifice my love life. I didn't sacrifice the um, internet. We have someone is trying to come in between what you want, okay? 
and this person has no idea what they're doing and they see nothing wrong with that okay whoever this person is they could love you this person could be really old wrinkly okay unattractive <sighs> y'all know how insecure older men get when they start balding their hairline start thinning out they start getting wrinkles and shit they start getting bitter and mean okay this is the energy let's get into it who is this energy monday morning for virgo Who is this energy? Mistakes. The Seven of Pentacles could be another Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Somebody has invested in mistakes. They have no idea what they're doing and they see nothing wrong with it and they're still investing in it. What's that? The Five of Cups. This disappointment. <laughs> What's that? We have the Nine of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Tower. Damn. Just to give me the energy of investing in some shit, looking and watching and being disappointed when some impending Tower hits. The Nine of Swords in the reverse gives me like reoccurring negative thoughts okay and then a tower hits so somebody keeps investing in something that they regret doing but reoccurring things keep happening reoccurring thoughts keep making this person invest in something that they regret and they're about to get a tower they see nothing wrong with it until they get a tower what is this How can somebody have no idea what they're doing? What's that? We have the two of wands. We have the world in the reverse. And we have the king of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, we have the ace of swords energy here. So someone's plan is to make it so something isn't complete. You don't complete something. Um, make it so something isn't over. Okay, the world card of the reverse talks about some type of opportunity being denied here. Someone's future plan is to do this. Okay. Oh, somebody's future is going to be fucked up for this shit, G. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Somebody keeps investing in something even though it keeps backlashing. And they keep having reoccurring towers. But they don't plan to stop because they're corrupt, they're domineering, and they're stubborn. And this person thinks of only himself. Okay, so this person has no idea that they're creating huge mistakes that will last within their whole life. Monday morning, this person is still investing in causing you wedges. And because of that, their future is going to be fucked up. We have the Four of Wands and the Devil. Somebody may be obsessed with you. We have the Chariot and the Hermit. Somebody may, uh, their obsession may drive them to come out of isolation. We have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody's already in a relationship or they have some type of wish fulfillment into being with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. And they were dedicated to that. They were working really hard to that. Okay, and it's going nowhere. Somebody is realizing that they need to stand down from somebody investigated with someone, investigated in a family with somebody to try to get you to turn down. They were hoping that it get your attention, <laughs> change things in your favor. Nah, G, justice. You're gonna get justice in a situation. The sun card and the high priestess, you already knew what their plan was. So their plan was never gonna work. Knight of Wands in the reverse. And we have the page of wands, the death card to the emperor. Okay. 
you ain't no uh You may know why this person didn't want anything substantial with you because they were using this fire sign to transform and help them stay in order or feel in order. Okay. What's that? Oh, shit. Somebody doesn't want you to find love. Okay. Somebody here. You their plan didn't work because you knew they had nothing substantial. And I feel like you listen to your intuition virgo they they have no idea what they're doing because it's almost like they're manifesting a relationship for you what the fuck is this shit because they keep trying to manifest you being in a relationship with them, but you're not meant to be with them. So they're like manifesting the person you're supposed to be with. Ten of Swords. They're going to see this as a betrayal when you get with this new person. There's some type of energy here. A whole switch up, child. You didn't go for this person because your intuition told you that there was nothing substantial and that you would be with somebody and manifest your real emperor to the empress what the fuck am i looking at right here g we started off with the empress to the emperor and we're ending with that energy so virgo there's somebody here who don't want you to meet your real counterpart okay they don't want you to reach meet your real person they don't want you to meet somebody on your level they keep trying to do slick ass shit to fuck with you your affairs your family all this weird shit they keep trying to get in the way of you your children some type of weird energy about children and the court and it's not gonna go in their favor whoever this person whatever this person is doing it's not gonna end the way that they think it is it's just gonna get them karma okay and they're going to regret making this mistake because it's almost like they manifested you to be with the love of your life show me this love energy L is for the way you look at me nine of pentacles the world card in the reverse here the knight of cups and three of pinnacles in the reverse there's somebody who is dedicated or loyal around this person who doesn't want something to end with you whoever this person is around this other person Whoever it is around this other person with the three of pinnacles in the reverse is giving me someone isn't, it's like delays and difficulties and work and property and shit. So there's somebody who works with this person and they see this person having delays and they're encouraging this person to move on, okay? What's the sun card to the six of swords? Or they see that you have gained success with moving away from this past person and that you have gained security and that you're still intuitive and beautiful. There's somebody around and that you would be a whole motherfucking catch. There's somebody around the person who is trying to get in the way of your love life that is watching you and this person. Okay, and they see that their intentions is to hurt you with the four of wands energy they could want to get with you okay give you everything that this man isn't giving you okay but they feel like it will be snaking their friend if they invest with you 
okay they have anxiety about that but they're moving strategically whoever this is got feelings for you they're moving strategically they're trying to solve problem solve because they're dealing with someone or they're friends with someone who has feelings with you for you somebody's friend like you the fool so taking action on you would cause a tower uh, yeah, so they burden with this, but I see that burden transforming. Okay, this person could be in your community. This person is paranoid that you're going to reject them. They know you're a hermit high priestess or a high priest. They see you as wish fulfillment. This person is confused about how to have an opportunity with you, but they're moving strategically and watching you. The Emperor. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse, the Ace of Cups in the reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This person here, uh, may have been paid to watch you from this Emperor that you broke up with, or they may have learned about you because they seen you from this Emperor that you broke up with, who, by the way, is getting terrible fucking karma for trying to do this dumb shit to you. Okay, just confirmation on that. Ace of Wands. This is the energy that I got for you today, Virgo. Somebody and somebody's friend. Okay, some I heard they brother. What the fuck? There's like three or four men here. Let me see. Um, there is a new love energy. Okay, yeah. There's definitely three or more people. There's a new love energy. Um, who's like. I don't feel like you know them or seen them yet. There's a past lover and then there's a past lover's friend. What was I gonna ask? How many people are here? How many people are here for Virgo and love? We have the four of wands and the page of pentacles energy, which there's two people there and then one person here, which is three, but the four of wands is giving me wands of like passion like there's four people there's up to four people who see you as somebody loyal an opportunity here ace of cups that may be in love with you have some level of love for you here knight of cups that are willing to come towards you world card okay the knight of pentacles and the emperor you have one though at a distance here who was really dedicated to being your emperor. They're watching you strategically on how to plan an opportunity here. They got several things that they are invested in that are going to lead them to stardom. Whoever this is, is investigating you, your family, all this. You may have rejected them. You may have rejected them because your intuition could have told you that they were working with somebody or connected for somebody in the same community or a, a past lover. And you may have thought that they were a catfish because they were connected to somebody somehow. This could be their, fr I'm telling you, weird energy. You shouldn't be a catfish, bitch. Okay? It's not Virgo's fault that their intuition tells you that, tells them that you're linked with somebody uh, be because you are, all right? And you don't wanna tell Virgo about that and you wanna try to pretend, that's not gonna fucking work. You're gonna have to tell Virgo or she's gonna reject you. He's gonna reject you. Take it as it resonates, okay? So this is the energy I got for, the, for you today. Some weirdo energy is being paid to waste your time, okay? There's somebody else in your family uh, who, Oh, that same person who is being paid to waste your time has uh, some type of affair with your family. Okay. Um, and then the person who they have an affair with is this person who's making all these mistakes, trying to do all this shit to come in between of you, between you and finding new love. And then there's new love looking at you. So they got a whole lot, a whole lot going on. Okay, it's Monday. You know what that means. Okay, it's going to be messy on Monday. This is the energy that I got for you, Virgo. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. See what's coming up next to the Virgos. And y'all, you know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.